Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to join my colleague from the Yukon in, uh, in uh, congratulating our, our colleague from the Nunavut in her, in her speech today. I am concerned, however, with the Aboriginal Healing Foundation. This foundation was set up 10 years ago to, to empower Aboriginal people to deal with the issues coming out of, out of things like the residential schools. So this, this was given to Aboriginal people to run. What we see in the budget here today and uh, in this governance approach today is to take, to, to do away with the Aboriginal Healing Foundation and, but put money into Health Canada, put money back into the hands of the federal government on this particular issue. Now my question to, to the minister is, do you think it's appropriate in this day and age after the apology we went through to take away the resources that Aboriginal people have to deal with their problems in their own fashion? Do you think it's appropriate that Health Canada, that bureaucracy, should be the ones that determine how Aboriginal people heal themselves from the wounds that were caused by them from this federal government? The Honourable Minister of Health. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we all know the history behind residential schools across this country um, and uh, the people involved in the delivery of those ser services, um, certainly not uh, the federal government. So to clarify that, and again, I'd like to say the funding that's been identified in this budget of $199 million, there's $60 million there that will go directly to the individual who is a victim of residential schools. Um, that program is accessible to those individuals and it continues to be there and that is a choice individuals will have. I've gone through a residential school program uh, in, in the Northwest Territories. I know um, the history behind this and I feel very passionate about it and I will continue to work with the individuals that have been impacted by that and I would really urge the member from the Northwest Territories to vote for these important programs yeah, that yeah, make a difference yeah, yeah. for individual right. Aboriginal people and the North. Um, I would urge the member from the Northwest Territory to support these important budget initiatives that go to the hearts of many Northerners. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah.